Yangmingshan National Park, Taiwan. After weeks of tropical storms, the sun begins to stream through the misty canopy, turning the early morning forest into a truly magical scene. Incredible mushrooms begin to emerge, thriving in the now damp, humid forest. Each more magical than the last. And in such a fairyland, there must, of course, be fairies. Here they are, adorning this Christmas orchid's bloom. Incredible creatures also re-emerge after braving the storm. Getting a good hearty breakfast in. And repairing their damaged nest. In Yangmingshan National Park, another magical creature has emerged. Near the top of Mount Miantian is Shangtian Pond, an ancient volcanic crater. Usually a grassy meadow, only after heavy rains does it become a small lake. And thousands of tiny fairy shrimp can be seen, magical little creatures. I saw these posted on social media and decided to go have a look myself. Let's go take a look. You can see through the trees the lake is full. I'm excited to see what we can find. So this is um, usually a grassland, but because of heavy rains recently, it's filled up into a small crater lake. This may happen only once or twice a year, sometimes only every couple of years. We've had a couple of small typhoons or tropical storms come through, so it's quite full at the moment. So when it fills up, the ecology changes somewhat, and you can find little fairy shrimp and other creatures that you wouldn't normally find. Uh, so we'll go take a look. It seems there are others here looking for them too. Let's take a plunge. A small fish, a tadpole. Here's a small water beetle, but where are the fairy shrimp? There's one. What a bizarre looking creature. Look at that hairdo. A fairy shrimp. Hu Zhao Jie Chong. Brunchinala Kujanumensis. Certainly some kind of fantasy creature. The dance of the fairies. They orientate themselves ventral upwards, so they're actually swimming upside down. Super cool. But the water level is very high today, so they are few and far between. Hard to find. Certainly nothing like what I saw posted online. Picturesque. But I think I need to come back when the water goes down a bit. So keep watching. We've seen a few fairies this morning. Now here's a dragon. Or at least a dinosaur. These big flat back millipedes look like something you'd expect to see walking with dinosaurs. They are really incredible creatures. So fascinating how they move. And you can tell they are millipedes by their legs. Millipedes have two sets of legs per body segment, whereas a centipede has only one set per body segment. I don't know much about these incredible creatures, but I believe they eat decaying plant matter and some kinds of fungi. Like other millipedes, they curl into a ball as a defensive behavior and produce a toxic cyanide compound, which makes them smell of almond or marzipan. So best not to touch them and certainly don't eat one. And apparently they will fluoresce under UV light, but that will have to wait for another video. It's been a lovely day, but keep watching. When I come back, we get to see thousands of fairy shrimp, all swimming together. It's a lovely morning again. The water levels will have gone down, so let's go find some fairy shrimp. Wow, check this out. Another dragon in this mystical forest. 
surely a good sign for finding fairies. This is a greater green snake, Tyus Major, Qingshu, making its way along the side of the trail. Although common to see sleeping in trees at night, they are actually diurnal, but quite uncommon to see during the day, and difficult to film clearly. Okay, it has stopped. Let's see if we can get a closer look. There it is. Isn't it stunning? What a beautiful animal. What a cute little face. It looks so beautiful in the daylight. Amazing shiny emerald green scales. And soft lemon yellow ventral. We're so lucky to see one out in the day. These are non-venomous snakes and almost never bite. In fact, they are unique in that they feed on invertebrates. So, unless you're a bug, they are completely harmless. Anyway, we'll leave this one to get about its day. I'm sure it has bugs to find and errands to run. Off it goes. As you can see, they are incredible climbers. It's probably heading up there to make its bed. That's the best way to start the day. Well, you can see our lake is once again an empty grassland. But there's still a small puddle left. And there they are, fairy shrimp. Thousands of them. Look at that. As the water levels receded, they all became concentrated in this last remaining pool. Let's take a plunge. Wow. Look at that. Isn't that incredible? Fairy shrimp everywhere. You can see them gracefully swimming, using movements of their tiny fairy wings. These are in fact their legs, or rather, phylopodia. They swim upside down by rhythmically moving these special legs, giving them the appearance of tiny, graceful, underwater fairies. Although not really shrimp, they are crustaceans. Let's check them out from underneath. Isn't that incredible? They are filter feeders, so they eat as they swim about. But like their tadpole friends, they sometimes graze algae. They can only be seen here a couple of weeks per year. Some years, not at all. So we are super fortunate to be able to see this. And it's so cool to see them from underwater like this. Look at them all. Thousands. It really is incredible. Quite an otherworldly scene. And you can see some of them are now carrying eggs. You can see them as little white things in their tails or brood pouches. As the water recedes, they will lay their eggs. And what's most incredible is that their eggs can enter a state of diapause. That is, their eggs can completely dry out or even freeze yet remain viable for years, if need be. When rains bring water back to the crater lake, these eggs will hatch. And once again, this unique lake will be filled with thousands of dancing fairies. I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching. See you on the next adventure. Cheers.